Welcome to Concert Classical Guitars. A piece of history today um, with this beautiful Jan Kneip guitar. Um, Jan Kneip was, uh, is an Australian maker, he's not making guitars anymore. And um, this guitar is from 1995. Uh, all his guitars were uh, designed with the same philosophy and the same design same uh, proportions and measurements uh, of the great Smallman guitar. And uh, I've heard, and I think it's, it's true, every guitar that was about to be finished was finished with uh, Greg Smallman in his workshop. So this is as close as it, get, as it gets from uh, a Smallman from that uh, era. And... Um, Honestly, it's a beautiful instrument, uh, very warm, and it's, it has uh, traveled the ages without, uh, without any troubles. So this guitar is crack-free, no cracks, no repair. Um, it's a beautiful instrument. So it has, of course, a super nice golden uh, cedar top. Beautiful uh, rosette here, uh, Paduk bridge that has become uh, as dark as uh, uh, Brazilian rosewood. Um, bone nut here, uh, big uh, uh, here uh, bi bindings here. Uh, I don't know the word for this, but we have a back and side with the beautiful, beautiful uh, rosewood coming from a far country where guys play football and girls are in bikinis on the beach. Not bad. But it's a beautiful, beautiful wood. Um, I think this is a Tasmanian wood for the neck. Looks like it's um, uh, a mahogany Tasmanian something. I don't know. It's a beautiful uh, shaped neck. Uh, of course, at that time, they were putting those uh, Shara tuning machines, so it's all stock, and it's all uh, uh, original. Uh, very nice. Uh, it has his, his own design for the headstock, which has the same wood of the Smallman at the time. Uh, Greg Smallman was using the same tuning machine, too, at the time. Um, ebony fretboard. Uh, setup is uh, perfect, uh, perfectly uh, easy to play. Uh, the, the neck is kind of slim here and becomes a little fatter here. And the, the, the design of the, the heel here is very common to the small man design. Okay, um, this guitar plays great, has a very sweet and round tone. And a lot of, uh, of course, projection, but uh, the guitar is quite heavy, uh, fully laminated back and side, of course, and the, 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 the arch back too. So it feels like, uh, like you're playing on a cello. Oh, let's start here, the low E. It's very typical. 
this is the, the quintessence of the Australian sound. all the fretboard with long sustain beautiful notes <laughs> sweetness of the overtones that are not too much so they are not overpowering the notes you're playing so you don't have to cut everything just beautiful lovely voice and the first string again even the first string doesn't look like doesn't sounds like it's uh, too bright or too clear or the first string but it's same tone quality as the second and the, and the third, and, and there's a lot of medium frequencies that sweeten the, the sound. Just like the wind and the breeze and the colas eating the another. Super sweet. the melody with the basses
the melody with the travels. guitar that sounds the same as John Williams recording from the past when he was playing the, those, dam, uh, those uh, Smallman guitars. Um, you have here a guitar that it look, looks a little different but has the same tone and uh, if you love the old sound of the old Smallmans, um, this guitar is about the same sound and the same playability, uh, same size. Uh, beautifully made and for many years to play and of enjoyment so if you like sweet sound with big open voice but uh, very 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 sensitive uh, very musical uh, that's a very uh, that's a piece of history so it's a dream instrument thank you for watching